YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Koozie, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. We have got a guide for you today, baby. And this one was actually requested in my How to Stop Playing Scared video by Cube Guy. All right, uh, he was asking how to do a low level XP farm, meaning you are so low level that you don't even have smudge sticks or a crucifix. Um, so what I'm gonna show you in this video is gonna help you skyrocket your progress and help you prestige very fast and get a lot of money in the process. So um, some people don't really like this method um, because it can be very brain rotty, but it is so fast and uh, you'll be able to level up in no time. So before we get into it, do me a favor. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. If you want to find your way back for more content like this and other spooky stuff, you can hit the subscribe button when notifications on. I'm recording this live on my stream right now. The link for that is down below. I'd love to have you come check me out sometime. It'd be awesome to have you stream almost every day around 8 p.m. Eastern, okay? So anywho, not pitter patter, trader chatter. Let's get into it. All right, so before we get into any sort of gameplay, all right, there's two things you need to do uh, that is setup wise. So first and foremost, um, as you can see, I have what's called the booty butt cheeks loadout right here where uh, we have quite literally nothing. We have just the starting equipment right here in the truck and that's it. You're not gonna need anything for this, okay? And I'll explain why here in a minute, all right? Next thing you wanna do, you're gonna wanna do is uh, go to your difficulty, select custom, come over to custom settings and uh, follow these steps here under the player tab. You want to make sure that everything is set as as low or as high as possible to give you the most reward. So I'll break that down now. So starting sanity, you want to have at zero percent. Sanity pill restoration, you want to have at zero percent. Sanity drain speed, two hundred, which is the max. Sprinting, you can have off for a little bit higher reward, but I prefer to have it on. Uh, player speed is set to one hundred. Flashlights is off. Okay, bear with me. All right. Lose items and consumables is obviously on because if we turn this off, it's going to result in no rewards and we want lots of rewards and XP. OK, uh, go speed is at 100. You can I mean, if you're feeling frisky, you can turn this up and then go to your player speed and turn it down for like the most rewards. But let's just try to keep this realistic here. Roaming frequency set to high, changing favorite room set to low, interaction amount set to low, uh, event frequency set to low. Don't. You're just going to need to change these for the rewards. You're not even going to have to worry about this. Um, and I'll explain here in a little bit. Uh, friendly ghost, same thing as lose items and, and consumables. You want to have this off because if you turn it on, it makes everything go to zero. So uh, no grace period, uh, high hunt duration, kill extended hunts doesn't really matter because it doesn't affect your rewards, but it also doesn't matter because you're playing this solo. Um, so uh, and no evidence. OK, but the contract. No setup time. Set your weather to fog. It will make sense in a moment. Door starting open, set it to high. Number of hiding spots, uh, none. Sanity monitor is off. Activity monitor is off. Fuse box is broken because if you have it off, you get less rewards, okay? Curse possessions, have it set to zero, all right? Then what you wanna do is something called the camp woodwind strategy, all right? I'm going to break this down for you and it's going to be very quick and um, so this video is going to be a little bit shorter, but uh, after you have all that set up, you want to go to a camp woodwind and it's literally going to take, <clears throat> excuse me, it's literally going to take three minutes, dude. Okay, so as you can see, we have absolutely nothing, no smudges, no crucifixes or anything like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into camp woodwind here. And because we're at zero sanity, the ghost uh, can hunt us as soon as we walk through the gate. The strategy here is uh to get one hunt and try to identify the ghost based on that one hunt and if you can't identify it guess leave re-roll baby all right uh, i'll give you a quick crash course in case you uh don't know so there's a handful of ghosts that are very easy to identify during a hunt those are the moroi with with these settings you've got the moroi the diogen the thay the obake the hantu the revenant the phantom oni um and poltergeist uh as well as twins okay um you're looking for ghosts that have obvious hunt behaviors so for instance like the moroi diogen they uh hantu revenant they will all have speed modifiers as well as twins twins will be like slightly faster or slightly slower um the phantom and the oni um both have blinking behaviors so the phantom will be a little bit more invisible whereas the oni will be more visible um and then poltergeist is obviously a poltergeist. So uh, where I'm going to be, it'll clear off both of those picnic tables. 
And um, some of you might have heard of the camp woodwind strategy because, I mean, it's it's kind of out there. But uh, a lot of people will be like, you need smudge sticks. And, I mean, you kind of do. But if you manage your stamina well and you loop the ghost in a specific spot, which you'll see me do here in just a moment, you will uh, you'll survive. OK, because you even if you die and you guess the ghost right, you only get like 100 bucks. But the good thing about this is since you have absolutely nothing, with the loadout that I showed you a moment ago, um, you're not really losing money. But um, yeah, the, the whole thing should take maybe two minutes around. All right. And that's if the ghost decides to hunt. So because we're inside and we're at zero sanity, the ghost can hunt us quite literally at any moment. So right now I'm going to chill right behind this picnic table. Um, unless the ghost does something like that. Because it threw that ball, meaning it can hunt right on top of me. Um, it threw that ball, but it's over there. Um, so it's throwing stuff, but it's not pulty throwing. But you see, if you just kind of chill right here. The ghost will kind of double back. So it's not a poltergeist because it would have cleared this off for sure. And so what you do is you rule out ghosts. It's not a revenant because it would have been extremely slow and then extremely... It would have been a hell of a lot faster. Same with the Moroi and the Thay. The Diogen is the opposite of, of the revenant. It's extremely fast whenever it's far away and then once it gets close, it slows down. Um, and the Hantu won't speed up as it sees you. Uh, but with these settings, with the breaker being broken, you'll be able to see the Hantu breath. Um, so it's pretty obvious that way. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to guess Gorio, but part of me is wanting to guess Twins because it threw that ball and started the hunt from way over there. So I don't know, but I didn't really pay attention to the speed of that, though. So uh, let's see here. But the big thing is trying to survive because that's how you get your... Uh, it was the twins! Welcome back. It was the twins, baby. Okay. And as you can see, and I spent a little bit more time yapping, uh, but that took a minute and 47 seconds. And we got $2,274 as well as $2,274 XP. Um, so, yeah, we're chilling. So, uh, yeah, you guess the ghost, you uh, load up again. This is where knowledge of the ghost can come in really handy, bro. We've Check the Very handy. All right. So you just you rinse and repeat, baby. So I wouldn't recommend doing this for long periods of time because it is very repetitive and brain rotty. Uh, so it's what I like to do typically, which I haven't done recently, is whenever I start my stream or if I'm just sitting down to play Phasma for a, an, an, an extended period of time, I'll like do five camp wood run runs with these settings and then I'll uh, just do like normal gameplay, like normal contracts or whatever, uh, or do some challenges. And then, you know, at the end, whenever I'm about to, it'll, it's kind of like a warm up and cool down, right? But I normally do like five runs and you're not going to get it right every single time. Like I'm probably not going to get it right here unless the RNG gods wants to bless me. It's normal speed. Hello? I can't see this ghost. Oh, because it's crawling. Um, I think that's normal blinking, but I can't tell if it's a phantom or not. It's not a phantom. This is normal blinking. Alright, so right here, this is this is a prime example of how it can go. You're gonna get like one contract right in like every 10 tries pretty much, unless you get good RNG. So it's not a phantom, because we could see it. I'm not saying you can't see a phantom, but it was definitely visible enough to not be a phantom. Uh no Oni. Um no fast boys. So no revenant, no Diothe. Uh not really any twins. We didn't see the breath. Uh didn't shape shift, so it's not an Obake. Uh, it's not it's not a hantu because we didn't see the breath um and it's sped up the longer it's all us too uh do we go with a miling because of the footsteps but i don't know 
So, uh, in this case, I just guess. So I'm just gonna go with Spirit. You can guess whatever you want. Could be Gorio. Could be Onryo as well. There's no real way to test for that, though. With these, uh, with this situation we're in. It was a Gorio. I've noticed, dude. And this is just an observation, and I could be completely wrong here, but in my experience, the Gorio acts a lot like a Poltergeist. So, like, if it's throwing a lot of stuff, but it's not, like, throwing it super far like a Pulte, and it's not clearing off the table in Camp Woodwind, um, it's more times than not been a Gorio for me. I don't know if that means anything, but, um, that's just an observation I've had doing the strategy. Because, like, the Gorio looks like a Poltergeist, because sometimes it'll throw things, like, kind of far, but by the time it gets to the tables, it won't clear it off. So... I don't know. I could be completely wrong and full of shit, which I probably am because I haven't pooped in like seven days, but that's beside the point. All right. Uh, no. Doesn't look like any weird blinking. Because like an Oni won't stay invisible for that long. So you see how he's blinking kind of fast and then he kind of goes invisible for a second. It's not a poltergeist. It's not a super fast ghost. Did we guess Gorio again or Onryo? I don't know. I think we just, uh, it's not a Hantu, not a Rev. You don't have to strike through every time either. Um, no Oni, no Phantom. Uh, we're gonna say Gorio again. I doubt it. But you can never be too sure. It was a Welcome back. I wasn't paying attention to the footstep volume. Nice. All right, we go again. Just rapid fire, baby. I mean, you're going to get it wrong. You're looking for obvious ghosts. Smiling is kind of obvious if you pay attention to the footstep volume because it'll be uh, quieter than the ghost noise. But with it being the Easter event, it's going to be a little bit hard because the little jingling is a little tough. But that's okay. We make do with what we have. So now we're waiting for the ghost to hunt. Okay, threw something over there, so I'm going to wait and prepare for the ghost to start hunting from that area. Should start hunting any second now. And I like to stay crouched because this kind of breaks line of sight, even though I can see through. Okay, you hear how fast it is? Ah, uh, it's a Diogen. Unless it's a Mimic. But you heard that? He was fast as shit, and then he came right to me. And he's slow. I'm sorry, Toasty. Dylan, that uh, that video is coming out. It's scheduled. Um, I think it's coming out this coming weekend. So yeah, with the Diogen, just don't back yourself in a corner. You're fine. All right, so we're going to say Diogen unless it's Mimic, which would kind of suck, but it's fine. If it's a Mimic, you know, it, it is what it is, bro. You just load up and go again and hope you get an actual ghost that the Mimic is mimicking. But in this case, it was a Diogen, and we got another $2,200. And 2,200 XP. And, I mean, I'm level 74, but if you're, like, a low level, bro, this is, this is a move. Honestly, bro, when I first reached Prestige 2, I tried this strategy, and I went from level 8 to, like, level 28 in, like... Two days. To give you an idea, I, I only stream for about two hours a night during the week because I have to get up early for work. And um, in those, and I didn't even do it every, like, for the full two hours. And I went up that much in level just by doing the strategy. And again, I was level eight, so I didn't have smudges. The good thing is, is you do this a few times, you level up a few times, you can unlock the smudge sticks and your, uh, your lighter, and then this will give you a better chance of, of living. 
and uh, survive it. So we're going to do maybe one or two more, just depending on how things go. Oh yeah, it's out, bro. It's, uh, I mean, it's scheduled, but it's, it'll be coming out soon. Okay, it's throwing things over there. But if you don't have smudge sticks, um, it's all about stamina management. Because if you can get the ghost, like, in this back corner right here, and you can just kind of chill right here, the ghost will kind of, like, double back and forth, and it'll never, like, put you in a rough spot. So, if you can get the timing right and your stamina managed well, you're fine. Unless it's a really fast ghost, like a rev, then you're you're screwed. You might just die. And that's okay, because you can load up and go again. You want to know why? Because the loadout doesn't cost anything. It's great. I couldn't tell if that was behind me. Hello? Sometimes the ghost will start hunting right on top of you too, which is always terrifying, but that's beside the point. Okay, we're waiting. Potential shade. Touch the guitar. Very, very nice music, buddy. Touch something over there. Okay, we're waiting still. It should start hunting us at any second. Five, four, three, two, one. No? Damn. I don't know if I want to mop this dude on TikTok anymore. He's weird. He's going to put case O equals ban on his stream. But I don't want to ban... Like Queso the streamer? Yeah, that's normal speed. I can't see this. This guy. Because he's crawling. Looks like normal blinking. Um. Might be an Oni. He's very mad. Do we guess Gorio again? Because, I mean, it threw a lot of stuff. Let's test that theory. Let's test the Gorio theory here. A stinky Gorio. Imagine. Imagine if we get it right, and then I'm, like, trailblazing a theory for Phasmo. Okay, I'm completely wrong. All right, well, let's do one more. And pray that the ghost hunts us pretty soon. That way we're not having to wait for a minute. <laughs> the streamer yaps too much. I think I question... Uh, yeah, I would fucking dip out, bro. That's kind of weird. Okay. Phasma gods have heard my cry. Hello? I mean, he's kind of fast, but he had line of sight on me since the bathroom. So, I don't think... It's like a fast ghost. But it is throwing a lot of stuff. I'm... Dude, I don't know. I'm gonna say Gorio again. I don't think it is, but you know... What if it is? Then I'm right, you know? What do you know? Gorio? It was a demon. Okay. Well, yeah, so that's, I mean, you get the gist of it, though. Like, it's it's really not that complicated. The, the principle of it is very, very simple. 
So, uh, yeah, just try the strategy. I, I would advise you to do it in, in like, segments. Don't, like, try to spend 12 hours doing this, bro, because, A, it's really not worth it. You're going to get the levels anyways just by playing, but it is a good way to level up to unlock the, the better equipment. So, I would, uh, that's what I would use this for, is, like, if you're, say you're close to, like, level 90 and you need maybe, like, three or four levels, then, yeah, do the strategy for a little bit. Or, like, if you're brand new... Or like you just prestige or something if you're like a brand new player bro i wouldn't recommend doing this um unless you watch my ghost guide where i cover all 24 ghosts and their behaviors and stuff but uh outside of that i'm just kidding but um i don't know man I, it's it's a good strategy but it is very brain rotty so do it this what you will that's that's all i'll say there's other ways to you know you could play on nightmare mode which gives you a higher uh like a higher reward uh insanity mode gives high reward if you're feeling froggy you could do the uh, apocalypse challenge but if you're low level and you don't have good equipment then there's no point in doing that so don't worry about that but anyways i hope you enjoyed this guide i hope that this helps you um i know that the grind is real for this game but uh with strategies like this it makes it a little bit better so if you like this video give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down if you didn't if you want to find your way back for more content like this, you can hit the subscribe button with notifications on. I would greatly appreciate that. I am recording this live on my stream right now. I'd love to have you come check me out sometime. I stream almost every day around 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, the link for that is down below in the description. Um, and also the link for my Discord, too, if you want to join that, too. But anyways, take care. Thank you for watching. And as always, until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Be proud of yourself. And most importantly, don't stop being who you are. You value, you love, you belong in this community. And I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Take care.